In this short tutorial, we are gonna fix Xbox app not working on PC problem. Before moving on to the video, don't forget to leave a like. I recommend watching the video once before trying solutions. The first solution consists of a few small steps. The first thing we need to do is turn off Xbox in show hidden icons. After doing this, we go to the search section and open the Microsoft Store to update the Xbox app. After opening the Microsoft Store, type Xbox in the search bar. Then, if we need to update the Xbox app, we update it. We have updated the Xbox app. The next thing we need to do is to repair and reset the Xbox app. To do this, we come to the search section and type Xbox. Then right click on it and open app settings. After opening app settings, we scroll down and click repair. Then we click reset. The last thing we need to do is to set Xbox's services to run automatically. To do this, we go to search and open run. After opening run, type services.msc in the search bar and click OK. Here are the services running on our computer. Scroll down to the bottom and find Xbox's services. We will set these services to run automatically. To do this, we right click on the service and open properties. Then we set the startup type to automatic and click start. Click apply and OK to save the changes. We will do the same for the other services. We have set Xbox's services to run automatically. Now, we can check if the problem is solved or not. If the problem is not solved, we will move on to the second solution. Also, don't forget to like the video if you haven't already. The second solution has two steps. The first step is to install the Xbox Identity Provider. To do this, we open our browser. After doing this, we download Xbox Identity Provider. I will put a download link in the description, but you can also find it by searching for it in your browser. Click install and then click open Microsoft Store. After doing this, a tab will open like this. If it is already installed, there will be no download or install option. Maybe you may need to update it like me. We downloaded the Xbox Identity Provider. The second step is to delete and reinstall Xbox gaming services. To do this, we go to search and run PowerShell as admin. There are two codes we need to write in PowerShell. You can find these codes in the description section. Our first code will remove Xbox gaming services from our computer. After typing the first code, press enter. Then we write the second code. This code will allow us to reinstall the Xbox gaming services we deleted. After pressing enter, the Microsoft Store will open. Here, we install gaming services again. We have installed gaming services. Now, we need to restart our computer. After restarting your computer, you can check if the problem is solved or not. If the problem still persists, it is because the problem is not caused by us, but by the Xbox servers. To check this, we type Xbox status. If there is an yellow or a red logo next to the servers, it means that the servers are down. In this case, unfortunately, there is nothing we can do but wait. We have come to the end of the video. I hope one of these solutions fixed your problem. If the video helped you, don't forget to like the video. You can also subscribe to my channel to support me. Take care and see you in the next video.